Hey, what's up? It's Justin from Chinese Drama Land, and welcome back to another video on the channel. A few days ago, Cena TV published a list of upcoming dramas slated to premiere in the fourth quarter of 2022, so I decided to make a video of the dramas listed by Cena TV. None of these premiere dates are confirmed, so take it with a grain of salt. Let me know in the comment section down below which of these costume dramas you're looking forward to this quarter. If you go on to enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new videos like this in the future. With that being said, let's get started with the video. Number 12, Love You 7 Times, starring Ryan Ding and Yang Chao Yue, is a 36-episode costume fantasy romance drama. Yang Chao Yue plays Xiang Yun, a girl who was originally a cloud turned into a fairy by Yue Lao, the god of marriage and love in Chinese mythology. Ryan Ding plays Chu Kong, a boy who accidentally broke into Yue Lao's pavilion. Whilst quarrelling with Shang Yun one time, they unintentionally messed up Yue Lao's red thread, thus wreaking havoc in the Three Realms. And this began their cycle through seven lifetimes to fulfil the Jade Emperor's punishment before they returned to the Heavenly Realm. Number 11, Love Never Fails, starring Crystal Yuan and Liu Shuiyi. Love Never Fails is a 36-episode drama adapted from the novel of the same name, and it tells the story of a millennium entangled love between a thousand-year-old camellia demon and the Zongtian king. Crystal Yuan plays a little camellia demon who's cultivating to become an immortal after she boldly confessed her love and desire to marry Jin Xiu, played by Liu Shuiyi, who's the king of heaven in charge of Zongtian. When Hong Ning confesses her love to Jin Xiu, she gets rejected and tells her to focus on cultivation instead. She then spends hundreds of years cultivating to achieve her goal, but begins to consider abandoning her path to cultivation when she finds out Jin Xiu is going to marry someone else. This is Crystal Yuan and Liu Shuiyi's second reunion. They both starred in the 2020 hit drama Love and Redemption. Number 10, Song of the Moon, starring Vin Zhang and Xu Lu. Song of the Moon is a 40-episode costume fantasy romance drama adapted from the novel of the same name, and it tells the story of a wealthy heiress played by Xu Lu, who gets embroiled in a battle between immortals and demons, and in the process she gets romantically involved with a mysterious cloaked immortal played by Vin Zhang. Number 9, Romance of a Twin Flower, starring Ryan Ding and Peng Xiaoran. Romance of a Twin Flower is a 40-episode historical romance drama adapted from the dreamer in the spring boudoir, and it tells the story of a quirky genius girl played by Peng Xiaoran, who loses her memory in an accident, and inexplicably replaced her twin sister and entered the Ho Manor. With her outstanding wits and business acumen, she managed to resolve numerous crimes, eventually winning the favour of a cold and arrogant young master of the Ho Manor, played by Ryan Ding. Number 8, Chong Zi, starring Jeremy Jones Xu and Yang Chao Yue. Chong Zi is a 40-episode costume fantasy romance drama adapted from the novel of the same name, and it tells the story of Chong Zi, played by Yang Chao Yue. An optimistic and kind girl who is born with a dark power, who later gets turned away from society and gets treated badly because of her supposed evil spirit. In her most desperate time of need, she gets saved by an immortal played by Jeremy Jones Shu, who takes her as his only apprentice and teaches her cultivation when he identifies the dark power within her as part of the demon clan. He also decides to protect her from both humans and demons who want to manipulate her for their own gains. Number 7, Under the Microscope, starring Zhang Ruo Yun and Steffi Ki. Under the Microscope is a 12-episode historical mystery drama adapted from Ma Bu Yong's novel of the same name who also wrote The Longest Day in Chang'ang and The Wind Blows from Longxi. 
This drama chronicles the lives of civilians to give a glimpse into the Ming Dynasty through the perspective of the little people. Zhang Ruoyun plays a man obsessed with mathematics. He stumbles upon a problem in Jinhua County and constantly runs into obstacles while trying to solve it. Number 6. The Ingenious One, starring Chen Xiao and Mao Xiaotong The Ingenious One is a 36-episode historical wuxia romance drama adapted from the novel Qian Men by author Fang Baiyu. Number 5. Till the End of the Moon, starring Luo Yunxi and Bai Lu Till the End of the Moon is a 58-episode costume fantasy romance drama adapted from the novel Black Moonlight, holds the B.E. script, and it's set in a time where demons have power over cultivators and mortals. Bai Lu plays the daughter of a powerful sect who is sent back in time to prevent the demon lord from turning into his cruel and bloodthirsty demon persona, played by Luo Yunxi. This is Luo Yunxi and Bai Lu's second reunion. They both starred in the 2020 hit drama Love is Sweet and their chemistry was off the roof. Number 4. Forbidden Love, starring Dylan Wang and Yuki Chen Forbidden Love is a 30-episode historical romance drama set during the Longhua period. Dylan Wang plays an inuk who plotted with Fu Wang to take the throne. The Empress was supposed to be buried with the late Emperor, but he rescues her. Yuki Chen plays Bu Yun Lo, a lady-in-waiting who's supposed to marry the Emperor. When the Emperor dies, she's supposed to be buried with him, but Xiao Duo saves her and lets her stay in his manor. The two later grow closer to each other, but they don't reveal their feelings to one another. Number 3. Snow Eagle Lord, starring Xu Kai and Guli Nazha Snow Eagle Lord is a 40-episode costume fantasy romance drama adapted from the novel of the same name, which has been adapted into a popular anime series. Anyways, the drama is set in a mythical world in the mainland continent and it tells the story of a boy raised in a small peaceful town played by Shu Kai, whose peaceful life is disturbed when his parents get arrested by a foreign tribe. He's left with the responsibility of protecting his brother and rescuing his family. Guli Nazha plays Yu Jing Qiu, his love interest. Number 2. The Longest Promise, starring Xiao Zan and Ren Min the Longest Promise is a 40-episode costume fantasy romance drama adapted from the novel of the same name, and it's a prequel to Mirror Twin Cities, starring Li Yi Feng and Yuki Chen. The Longest Promise takes place in Kongsang Continent and revolves around the tumultuous love story between Shi Ying and Zhu Yan. Xiao Zan plays Shi Ying, a prince of Kongsang Continent, who gets banished to the mountain to cultivate after his mother was framed. Originally focused on nothing but cultivation, he begins to develop romantic feelings for Zhu Yan, his disciple played by Ren Min, the princess of the Qi Yi tribe. Shi Ying and Zhu Yan don't voice out their feelings due to their teacher-student relationship, and they find themselves standing on opposite sides in the fight for political struggle and undergo life and death situations together. They eventually put aside their issues and work together hand in hand to protect Kong Sang Continent. Number 1. Legend of An Li, starring Dil Rabba and Simon Gong. Legend of An Li is a 40 episode historical romance drama adapted from the novel of the same name. Dil Rabba plays Di Zi Yuan, a girl who seeks revenge after her entire family was falsely accused of treason and beheaded under the Emperor's order. 10 years before the story starts. As the only survivor, she changes her name to Ren Anli and schemes her way into the palace. Gong Jun plays Han Yi, the crown prince. He's kind and cares for the common people's welfare. Ren Anli soon finds herself falling for Han Yi, but at the same time she's unable to put behind the hatred between their families. Driven by his deep love for Ren Anli, Han Yi vows to resolve their differences at any cost, while at the same time deciding how to achieve justice for her family's death. 
Eventually, they join hands and go to the battlefield as they defend their kingdom against foreign forces. Dilraba's character in this drama is similar to her character in The Long Ballad, but I'll still check it out when it premieres. If you'd like to support me by contributing a dollar or more, check out my Ko-Fi page by clicking the link in the description down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon if you want to get notified when I upload new videos like this in the future. If you want to watch more videos like this, click on one of the videos on screen right now. That's all I have time for you today, stay safe, stay well and I'll see you on the next video.